Good afternoon, boys and girls. We are going to be reading a book about the moon, and you see a table of contents in front of you that tells you this is nonfiction. So this is about something real, and of course we know the moon is real. The book is called Tell Me Why the Moon Changes Shape, and this is by Katherine Beaton. So let's get started. Full Moon Over the Farm Nick was excited. He had just arrived at his grandma's farm to spend the summer there. The first night, sitting with grandma on the front porch, Nick saw a full moon. Look, he said, it's so bright tonight and it's a perfect circle. That's right, his grandma said, but we don't see a full moon all the time. Away from the bright lights of the city, you can see the moon more clearly. Nick thought about that. I know the moon is a sphere, he said, just like the sun. You're right, she said, but we don't always see it that way. Let's keep watching the moon together, and when you notice it changing, you can draw a little picture on my calendar. That night, Nick drew the moon as a perfect circle. He wondered how long it would stay that way and what would happen next. And then in the orange, it says, make a guess. Does the moon look the same in the United States as it does in Australia? Visit your library or go online with an adult and find out. At the bottom it says, the moon may look like a flat circle, but it's more like a ball. Twenty-nine days. A week passed. Nick realized that the moon was the shape of a half circle. That's weird, he said. What happened? The moon itself is the same size it always is, Grandma said, and the sun is still shining on half of it. What changes is how much of that sunlit part we can see. She explained that the moon orbits Earth about every 29 days. Earth is also orbiting the sun, the lighted surface of the moon will appear bigger or smaller to us, depending on where the moon is in its orbit. We call these different views of the moon lunar phases. Lunar means moon. How many lunar phases are there? Nick asked. That's a tricky question, Grandma said. Some people say four or eight or even more. Scientists don't always agree. And at the bottom it says these are the phases of the moon that happen every month when the moon orbits the earth once. The moon goes missing. Soon, the moon began to rise very late at night. Nick went to sleep too early to see it, but then the moon was still there in the morning. One day, a tiny sliver of the moon was visible all day long. Grandma explained that this meant a new moon was almost here. A new moon is when the moon moves between the earth and the sun. The half facing us is completely dark. And then at the bottom it says this crescent moon is almost a new moon. This is a normal part of the orbit, Nick asked. The moon is still up there but without any sunlight on it? The sun is still shining on the half that's not facing us, Grandma reminded him. We can't see the moon tonight at all. She had set up an easel and was mixing some oil paints. What are you painting, Nick asked. Grandma laughed. It's a surprise. You can't see this tonight either. And then over in the orange, it says, ask questions. Do other planet planets have moons that orbit them? Visit a library or go online with an adult to find the answer. And then at the bottom, it says the moon is always orbiting Earth, even when we can't see it. That's pretty cool. A few days later, Nick noticed that the moon was back at sunset. He saw a skinny, lighted edge of the moon very near the setting sun. Grandma said that this was called a crescent moon and pointed out that it was lighted on the right edge. Bright, bright, growing light, she said. This came true over the next two weeks. Nick could see more and more of the moon each night. More of the lighted side of the moon was facing the earth. And then at the bottom, it says the moon doesn't change shape, but we see it from a different viewpoint. Back to the beginning. Eventually, the moon looked full again. It was the same perfect circle Nick had seen the first night of his visit. 
Wow, Nick said. He drew in the last entry on his chart, a white circle. The moon is back where it started. But he could see that the real moon had shadowy splotches that he hadn't drawn in. What are those big gray spots? And then in the orange, it says, look, do you see spots on the moon in this photograph? What do you see? A human face, a rabbit. So see if you can see those things in um, the gray spots. And then at the bottom, it says there are thousands of large craters or holes on the moon, and there could be millions of small craters. I've never gotten close enough to check, Grandma said, smiling, but I read that they are huge lakes of hardened lava. We talked about that yesterday. The next morning, Nick's dad came to pick him up. See you later, my little astronomer, Grandma said. She handed him the painting she'd finished. It was Nick staring up at a full moon. And then at the bottom it says a telescope makes something far away seem larger and closer. And then we get to the end and it says think about it. Many cultures around the world have folk tales about people living on the moon. Visit your library or go online with an adult to find out more about moon myths. People have been studying the moon for hundreds of years, but scientists still have questions. What are some of your questions? What phase was the moon in on the day or night you were born? Go online with an adult and look for a moon phase calendar, which you should already have, and I hope that you will continue to look up at the moon every night and record what you see. And I hope that you enjoy this story about the moon. See you next time.